Have you ever wanted to go back to 1989? Well, here you go. The Nintendo Game Boy. Now, like I said, the Nintendo Game Boy was released in 1989 and was Nintendo's first successful game, um, game handheld. This thing spanned from a lifespan of 89 to 2003, literally in the middle of the GameCube's life. And there was a bunch of good games released for this, like Mario Land, Zelda Link's Awakening, Pokemon Red and Blue. And this thing was powerful, which had it had a ton of it had a ton of battery life. But the thing is, it took four AA batteries, which is a lot if you think about it. And the screen also didn't really look that good, unlike the Game Gear and the Atari Lynx, which had full color screens and a backlit. So I'll show you what the video games looked like on it. So as you see, it's very, it's kind of hard to see. You have to be under a direct light to be able to actually see it. Right here, I have in Tetris 2. And you know, for the time, this was very nice. So, yeah. Of course, the Game Boy had a bunch of different accessories for it. One being that I have is this. It's a it's like you it's a cord that you plug into the little port here, right here up here, and you can play your Game Boy without having batteries in. Now, sadly this is limited, so you have to have it plugged in at all times. It's not like a charging thing. But if you want to have a charge a uh, battery charger, then you can have this. This is the battery pack for the Nintendo Game Boy. All you do is take this off, and then you put the battery pack on, just like that. And boom, you got a battery pack on the Game Boy. Now, sadly, mine isn't charged, so I can't show you it working, but it does work, and it actually works pretty good, which is a good way if you don't want to use batteries or don't have them. Now, the next accessory we got is a pretty good one because as I said the Game Boy didn't have a backlight so these were kind of a necessity for it. Next accessory is the light. Now the worm light is the most popular it's just a little thing that attaches onto the side where you'll have a light but this one has a magnifier too so all you have to do is you have to take your Game Boy like this and then you put the, new, the light on top. You have to get it in there pretty good. And boom, you have this, which is actually surprisingly heavy, but I actually kind of like it like that. So all you do is you press the little switch, if I can get it. And boom, you got a light, two lights back there, which actually works really good. And um, so, and it also magnifies the screen. So let's try it with a game in. Got a game in, and all you have to do is turn it on. And look at that, that's a lot better. And right now, I have Donkey Kong Land in. It looks a lot better in person than on a, on a camera. But yeah, I got Donkey Kong Land in, and it, filled with focus, it magnifies the screen, and it adds a light, which means you can play it in the dark, which is pretty good. And cool thing about the Game Boy is that it actually has a headphone jack on the bottom, which not even modern iPhones have, so that's something pretty cool. Now, I don't really have a lot of games for the system, but what I do have is I have Donkey Kong Land, which is a pretty good one, actually. Um, Casino, basically gambling on the Game Boy. Tetris 2. And Space Invaders, an arcade classic. So these are the games that I have for it. And now I have to show you the, the holy grail of everything. The Game Boy Carrying Case. This thing is awesome. It looks exactly like an actual Game Boy. And all you have to do is pull up, and then boom, it's open, which it has compartments for the Game Boy. Um, the spot here that I put the light in, spot for games, and other accessories here. So yeah, and I'll show you what all that looks like right now. So this is what it looks like with everything on there. And, you know, you got the games, here you got the charger, the light, the battery pack, and the, and the Game Boy itself. And it, 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 there's nice padding on top, which is very nice. So when you close it, you can carry it like this. And then you'll have your Game Boy, and you'll have it be able to have it on the go. So, yeah, that's, I think that's pretty cool. So that's my review on the Nintendo Game Boy. And out of 10, I would give it an 8. Actually, no, an 8.5.
it was really good for the time, and it still is now. It's just it's a little outdated with how the screen is and stuff. But other than that, great games for the system, and overall a great handheld. That's it. And actually, in the comments, um, put an idea for the next console I should review. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.